I've had polio since I was young, since I was a baby. And it's led to me having a very weak right leg and a displaced hip, which um, as you get older, gets more difficult. And as I'm now in my 70s, I've, um, I find it very, very difficult to walk anywhere at all. I, I use a walking stick and it's painful to do so. In fact, I remember younger trying to go on walks with people and couldn't understand why I never enjoyed it. And it's because it's <laughs> the simple fact I was in pain all the time. I didn't understand people could go walking without pain. Anyway, so in the last few years, I, I, I got a blue badge by filling in the form, getting a GP's letter. And that's, that's, that was that really. And every two years I, I'd send in a very complex form with all the details of my, my disability, my condition. It's quite an intrusive form in some ways, but that seemed to do okay. And then this time, I, I'm, it's now just before Christmas, and um, the, it runs out at the end of December. I, I got an appointment after filling in the form in early November, got an appointment for today. Well, I suppose fair enough, but it, it makes me feel like I've never had to apply for benefits I've been fortunate to be employed, I'm retired now, and I've never had to employ, uh, to, to go in for benefits, but I know a lot of people, disabled people who have, and it can be a harrowing procedure. You feel they're, they're looking for ways for not giving you the benefit, and in a way, that's, I suppose that's the way I feel now, in, in a much smaller way, that um, they kind of don't believe what I've said, or don't believe the evidence that I've given. And... Um, they're looking for ways to um, say, no, you can't have it. So I must admit, I'm a bit kind of nervous about what's going to happen. It was a bit odd in that I was in a, a chair in the, in the foyer. And that's where we had the discussion, which wasn't exactly a very private place to hold it because they don't like using their offices at the moment, which I suppose is fair enough. Um, but I didn't think that was good. No, that's not good. Having to discuss your disability with people going backwards and forwards nearby. Anyway, the I've found out the reason why I was called in. It's because um, they they say they're tightening up on the regulations, and anybody who can walk more than fifty meters um, is not eligible. Which is a bit strange because. A lot of disabled parking bays are more than 50 metres away from things like the supermarket and whatever you're going to. But that was the other point. The other point they made is there was a question about, do you, can you do your own shop? At, can you shop at a, a supermarket? To which I said yes, because if I park in the disabled bay, if I get to it and I've got a trolley, it acts like a rollator, so I can use that and I can pause as much as I want, which is what a lot... Because a lot of my pain is because caused because of the something that's called a false acebulatum which is a dislocated hip joint which happened probably when I was a child because of the effects of the polio it means it's carved out a, fa a false a false place for the ball of the hip joint it's actually carved out not on the place where it should be but f about two or three inches above it uh, a false hip joint and it's that that causes the pain, because it's obviously not meant to be like that. It's miraculous that it's done it. It stirred me in good stead, but it, that's the one thing. It's not just about walking. It's not about, For me, it's not just about walking. It's about whether you walk it in pain or not. Walking somewhere in pain is a heck of a difference than not um, being able to work more than 50 metres. But that's the rule, and that's that's what got me here. To be fair, I, I gave her the X-rays of the um, falsa sebulatum, and um, she she took notes about that, and she seemed quite convinced by what I was saying. I I gave her the various medications and um, my passport, so she could check I wasn't trying to pretend to be somebody I wasn't, and. Um, I can't complain about the way that she did. We then walked outside for the re regulation 50 metres where I tried to walk as honestly as possible, but it, it's 
it's it's hard to do that when you're you're under scrutiny. So I made sure that as soon as I was on the move, I eventually made it clear that it wasn't walking without pain. And she asked me to assess how much pain it was. I didn't exaggerate. I said it was a three or a four out of ten. Not ten at the time, but it gradually gets worse if you try and do any more walking. And that's why I need pauses after walking short distances in order to be able to get moving again. Anyway, we will see. I think she was convinced by that, but who knows? I'll get the... If it's if it's successful, I'll get the um, blue badge sent in the post. If not, I'll get a letter and saying I've got right of appeal if that doesn't work. So... <laughs> I will see.